heard of the game Adopt Me, but you never played before. Maybe you are still new to it or haven't played in a while. We made a collection of videos to show you what to expect as an absolute noob. Welcome to the Picnic Players channel. We love to help online gamers and we really hate online hackers and scammers. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to stay safe online and get the most from the playtime, start now by clicking the subscribe button. When you first log into Adopt Me, you'll be taken through the initial setup of your character. One of the great things about Adopt Me is the ability to dress yourself. There is everything you'll find in the Roblox avatar catalogue, but most of it can be used for free. There are loads of items you can choose to dress your character. From different styles of faces. Some of them need a premium pass which costs Robux, but on the general tab there are loads for free. There are wings which you can pay for with Adopt Me Dollars. These are trails that follow you around as you run through the Adopt Me land. Some of them are really expensive though. Then there are loads of jumpers, sweatshirts, t-shirts or shirts. Skirts for the ladies, but these all cost a dot me dollars. Trousers, again there are loads from casual to formal. Some of them are full outfits and there are work outfits. Then, just as you can in Roblox, you can choose from a wide range of accessories. One of the coolest things is the dozens and dozens of different preset characters that you could be. From cool outfits to full-on character changes. To remove any items, just go to the category and deselect it. Once you're happy with your look, go back and save your outfit. Save it as something you remember. You can have different outfits saved that you can use whenever you want. If you want to go back to your Roblox avatar, it's just the click away. To choose a saved outfit, just click on it and click wear. If you go to the settings icon on each saved outfit, you can change the name or delete it easily. The name tag you give yourself can be used for giving additional information that can be seen by everyone. This writing will stay above your head as you play. You could have a slogan or a catchphrase showing. It's quite popular to tell people what your dream pet is. Adopt Me is all about building your pet collection. To revert back to your Roblox name easily, just delete any words you have and click save. That's it for dressing up. Use the comments section to ask us any questions. Now. A very quick introduction into designing your home. The $20 cash out check that has come up here appears once per Adopt Me day, which is about 30 minutes. You can easily change the wallpaper or floor design. Some are cheap, others are more expensive. Check out our channel for more design ideas. We post a new design video every week. Moving items around is as simple as selecting them and dragging them to where you want them. They can be rotated to be able to fit where you want them. If you don't like something, you can sell it using the delete button. Just remember, items lose value over time. There are just three rooms in the starter house. You can buy other houses when you get more money. Right. Now it's time to get outside and have a look at what else there is to see in Adopt Me. Logging in every day is really important. You'll get a gift every day and collect stars towards better prizes. Adopt Me is all about having friends and family. Here are two of my friends, Gabby and Sevi. Pet 
pets are a massive part of Adopt Me, so one of the first things you need to do is get your first pet. The chat is how you communicate with other players. There are some words that Adopt Me doesn't like though. Not sure why, but it will come up as hashtags if it doesn't like what you're saying. To go into first person view, zoom in using your mouse or pinch on a touch screen device. Adopt Me has a GPS system to help you get around. The arrows at your feet show you where you need to go. There are two main areas, the neighbourhood, where most people have their homes. Then there is Adoption Island. This is where all the shops and other activities are. We have arrived at the nursery. This is Sir Woofington. Sir Woofington gives you your first egg. It is known as a starter egg. Watch our next video to see how you feed your egg so it will hatch into your first pet. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button. If you want to get more from your playtime and not to lose stuff to either scammers or hackers, subscribe now so you don't miss any of our new videos. Picnic players, we all play together.